one in the morning. A dark and moody night. So it's hours before the D-Day landings are about to begin and the British paratroopers have to secure as many bridges as they can so that the assault isn't stalled. Yeah, the terrifying idea to just be pitched in there, having to land in a wooden box and just hope that you overwhelm them and we're able to hold it in time. Yeah, it's pretty, no. pretty amazing. Trapped behind enemy lines. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to Games Night. We're here for the Battle of Pegasus Bridge. I'm joined by Pyrian. Hello. And Tom. Hail. So the Battle for Pegasus Bridge is a real life event, but we've mixed things up a bit. We've still got the British paratroopers landing by glider and parachute to yep. attack in the middle of the night before D-Day. The bridge looks a little different to the historical one. Mm. But also you have heard strange reports of spooky goings on. There's a wizard's town. <laughs> the commander of the garrison here has some kind of obsession with the occult. Oh. What could it mean? <laughs> what could happen? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> We're in the wee hours of the day of days. In just a couple of hours time, landing craft will be landing on the beaches of Normandy. But before that happens, vital bridges need securing. And that's what PFLAX is here for. Absolutely. Yeah, we love capturing bridges. So well, you're that's great, because I love defending bridges. <laughs> it's my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> so on one side, Got Captain P. Flax commanding his British paratroopers. Led by Lieutenant David Dave Davidson. Excellent. And defending will be Tom with his um, conscripted, ill trained masses. Guten Morgen! <laughs> <laughs> the German troops are just really incompetent and they don't have any sentries on watch. They're all having a smoke break or a sleep. Well, yeah, these guys are hanging on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> but. You have a secondary objective beyond mm. just capturing the bridge and holding it against counterattack. Okay. Reports have come in of strange goings on in the night. Oh dear. Spooky noises and fell forces oh, being no. dealt with by occult obsessed. You can't trust the Nazis at all, can you? <laughs> Not even once. <laughs> <laughs> so that's uh, Tom's officer here. He's in He's charge. Otto von Drachen. Uh, the only real soldier here and uh, here obsessed is. with the occult. Uh, he's just hanging out in the chateau, leafing through old tomes, telling bawdy stories, and uh, just sipping cognac. Yeah, like the you know these are the ones who are like the sycophants for Von Draken, who laugh at all of his stories and yeah, nod, yeah. and <laughs> are always willing to top up his drink and give him cigarettes. And so oh, this is a very amusing story here, Draken. Oh yes, <laughs> you I don't need to the... tell me that, Schmidt. I know it's funny. <laughs> I told it enough times. Uh, yeah, they've heard the same stories a thousand times. The uh, rich Draken family. History. Maybe it's his like obsession with the occult that led him to be like banished to this backwater. Oh, I think he's here for a reason. Oh, yeah. oh okay. He's oh. taken this demotion because he knows there's something. Yeah, yeah. His he has ancestral ties to this tower. The Von Drack family tower. The Von Drack family tower. <laughs> I think the British intelligence knew that something weird was going on because unusually you had an attached chaplain. Yeah, you don't normally have an attached chaplain and none <laughs> in these kind of units. He was good for morale, mm. but we, we did think secretly maybe he's here for something else. What's what's on the agenda? Mm. Why is this lad here? And he was just sort of he keeping up with the troops pretty well, but keeping his cards close to the chest. Yeah, it was real need to know basis. Very uh, toxic. You don't want to you don't want to scare people just in case you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as always with bolt action, we've got green dice for the British and grey dice for the Germans. Mm -hmm. I will pull a dice out of the bag, and in this case it's grey, so the Germans will get to activate one of their units. And we keep doing this until every unit's had a go. That's the end of the turn. Okay, right, top turn two. Going first, it's going to be the Brits. All right, we're trying to get into position, coming from the cornfield, trying to get as many of my lads out and into reasonable positions for a sort of full-on frontal assault on this meagre garrison. Mm. I'm just going to activate my officer, mm -hmm. and I'm going to run him and the machine gunner over here into this this wounded area. Get you into an excellent firing position, or my name yeah. isn't David Dave Davidson, <laughs> by the <laughs> But diligent harms. <laughs> he spots something coming up. I feel like, yeah, there's some um, twitchy, trigger-happy person here mm -hmm. who is like, oh, my friends, 
I always knew they would invade today! <laughs> and everyone's like, come on, shut up. Eric needs just to fire a shot into those woods. Oh my days. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I was really worried about this AT gun. Yeah, no one else even thinks there's anything out there, but this one guy, he thinks he saw a shape in the distance, and yeah, real trigger happy. It's a man of action. Uh, um, that's a two. That's a miss. Shoots and blows up the barn. <laughs> <laughs> it's where we keep the corn, Hans. The corn. But of course, the AT gun opening fire. Realizing your cover's blown. Right? Yeah, let's go for it. Mm -hmm. Full attack. Trying to push forward and deal with this gun. Right then, start of the next turn. Oh. It's going to be the Germans. So. Uh, seizing the initiative, mm. uh, Hans ready to take another shot. He's kind of uh, zeroed in a little bit. Um, his friend helping him with the sight. Yeah. And they shoot at your uh, at your machine gun. Yeah, you? yeah. Mm. Four to hit. It hit. Oh, it hit. Yikes. Well, that's that. Just vaporizing one guy. One lad gets knocked, knocked into the middle of next week, absolutely. So yeah, your machine gun uh, gets pretty pretty heavily pinned down. Yeah, so then I started to put some fire on the AT gun. Ooh. You basically spent your whole turn firing everything you had everything. into that thing. Yeah. Oh, oh kill. God, just the, the loader is gone and it's still just itchy trigger finger hands <laughs> there. Does he not need to make a morale check? He does. He's, uh, he's Or he's going to abandon his post, no matter how much he loves that thing. Hans would never flee. <laughs> He warned everyone about this. So although usually when firing weapons and attacking each other, high numbers are good. When you're passing a morale check, you actually want quite a low number. We're going to have like leadership values, and as long as you can roll below the leadership value, you'll pass your morale check and be able to act. So these are three. <laughs> oh! oh my god! <laughs> Hans! He tried to warn us all! <laughs> Damn it, Hans! And when Hans was left, three other crewmen all shot down. Yeah. Hans's morale refused to break. He, he the man held. don't quit. He stayed with his gun. The man don't quit. You had to deploy your tank early. Yeah. Um, oh, the Tetrarch. You still have the Tetrarch. All right. Yeah, we'll bring him on. Sod it. The Tetrarch. One of the smallest tanks of World War II. Yeah. Could what? fit in a glider. Yeah, <laughs> deployed from the air. Yeah, it's a bit worrying, isn't it? When you're the best thing about your tank is it's light enough to fly. <laughs> <Yeah>. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't <laughs> fill you with. Um, no, I'm not getting in much hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh come on! I'm, I want to kill hands. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you're gonna need a five. Five. Okay. Don't do it. Yes. Oh, ho die, hands! You son of a bitch! It's my boy, my sweet boy. He was the hero of the people. He's dead. God Killed bless. By God bless the tech. Killed by a Tetrarch. The shame of it all. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Feels bad. So we were able to get him, but it felt like I'd wasted a whole turn. And three turns, we're not even any closer to capturing this bridge. Well, so after all this gunfire was going on, uh, Von Draken himself uh, wants to come out and have a look. That's this all the commotion. I think he's just <laughs> going to just come out. Oh my days. Staring over his bridge. <laughs> what is going on? Was it Hans's itchy trigger finger again? Oh, as I told you before, <laughs> there will be no invasion. <laughs> you know, still not entirely sure. And then out of nowhere, there's a crack shot. I've got to do this, even though it's silly. We're going to shoot Von Draken with the sniper. <laughs> okay, good luck. It's a long way. We got long range. We got in the dark. We've got all these girders in the way. We're going to say six. I'm going to say a six. Here we go. Oh, it's a four. Oh. oh. Threaded through the bridge. Yeah. And suddenly he's like, it's on. It is time. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to run to the wizard's tower, Ben. Okay. <laughs> he's off. Uh, he's not scared of the flashing lights and the, uh, you know, the, the, the bestial screams coming from it. And he goes. I think he knows that reinforcements are pretty far away, so he's got to deal with this himself. Yeah, like no one here is going to be able to stop them apart from him and his spooky powers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, the SAS are inbound. So they've been coming in dinghies up the river Ooh. this whole time <gasps> in the reeds. Oh. And they're going to emerge here at the, at the board edge. I don't know if they can shoot on arrival. They can shoot, but not assault. All right, well, they'll shoot these lads. Okay. Because so they're closest. 14 shots. Yeah. Hitting on yeah. fours. Yeah. They're all dead. That's a white multiple times. Bup, 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 bup. Okay, so my defenders, they are either heads down or still have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Very little is actually happening. The few bits of ceramic fire that do come out are doing absolutely nothing. You have to get on that <laughs> blower, baby. Are they about to radio? Mm-hmm. 
They, uh, that's something you can do while you're keeping your head down. You can start complaining about how awful it is. Lower is better. Eight. Eight. Okay, you do get through. Your message is received. But there's a lot of gunfire. There's a lot of gunfire. You can't uh, hear what's going to happen. Oh, it's hard to make it out over the sobbing. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Hans is dead. <laughs> That's right. Yes, that Hans. <laughs> he was right all along. You all laughed at him. We all laughed at him. <laughs> They're not well trained. They don't know the proper etiquette or codes. Right. Just doing a terrible job. The reinforcements are not that much closer to <laughs> appearing. But I was just, we had quite a lot of ground to cover. We had spent like two turns trying to deal with this AT gun. Hands just wouldn't give up. So I've still felt like, man, we've got to start moving over this bridge. I've got to mm. stop this, this wizard. Uh, so you said I'm allowed to do some kind of ritual in the wizard's town. <laughs> yeah. Which is 100% what I want okay. to do. So the thing is, Von Drak, He's got a special um, special outfit he keeps in the tower. Okay. <laughs> so uh, he's going to get changed. He's going to have a quick costume change. And he's going to put oh on my his, God. his occult robes. Okay, amazing. God, and he also grew like two and a half feet taller. <laughs> yeah. I love how all of his troops are pinned down and confused. And he has a little like six inch aura of command. If he was near any of these troops, they might just about be passing their command. No, chats. no, Ben. <laughs> he is just stomping off in the opposite direction. Look, he could help them all in his own way, uh, which, you know, we'll find out so you how had, that goes later on. You had but faith that this would be worth it, whatever it was. I'm praying this will be worth <laughs> it, because, yeah, I don't think Otto von Drack has ever done this before, and so... <laughs> yeah. ooh, we'll Let's see. see how this goes. The front line is basically collapsed. The front uh, lines are gone. The machine gun nests were like blown out. The AT gun's been captured. Things are getting real desperate. Yeah. yeah. What dark wizardly magic can I do? <laughs> so, <laughs> chain lightning. <laughs> he only knows one ritual, and okay. it's quite a long, drawn-out procedure that might take him a while. Right. Every turn that he spends doing it will like build up the dark power. Ooh. The longer you spend, the better it will be. Okay. Edging. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, he can, he'll start doing his dark, wizardly magic. You can have one red cube. Ooh! The red cube. The blood cubes. <laughs> yeah. Or the Von Draken rubies. <laughs> He's slowly getting them out. <laughs> My chateau guys, they've been pinned down just having the worst, worst time imaginable. Mm. But finally. Yeah, try and get another signal through. Uh, uh, Ooh, five. This one is heard loud and clear. One of them gets through on the good radio. Right. We have sent out the full alarm that we need reinforcements. This attack is actually happening. Yeah. Von Drak has disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Please send help. <laughs> the cornfield. They've crushed our beautiful corn. I mean, we were we were on the clock in multiple ways. We had mm. this ritual that was g gaining in power. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what that was going to do. Reinforcements were coming, and as my lads finally, we seize control of the, the AT gun, start to move onto the bridge, your garrison forces are moving on from the other side with the plan of giving it the old plunger and blowing it up. This guy, he's... Because there's, there's like wire all along here with, <laughs> with explosives, and he has to connect up the little plungy box. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, he's got his snippers out, and he's not sure quite how to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, he really wished he'd listened on that day that they showed him how to do it. Oh, God. Yeah, because they never thought it would happen. Well, yeah, like so. a year ago, an engineer came down for the day. Yeah. And showed like, everyone how the explosives This is how you wire at the bottom. If you're ever attacked by airborne landing, and they're just like, this is never going to happen. never going to happen. We're doing amazing. Work. Hans is sat there, like, really paying attention. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely going to happen. Yeah, Hans would know how to do Hans yeah, would be able to move on and detonate it in one turn. <laughs> and if the bl bridge blows up, We've lost. That's... We came here to capture this bridge. So now I'm thinking we've got to stop them blowing up the bridge, try to deal with the reinforcements, try to deal with this wizard. It was a lot all happening at once. A lot of, a lot of things to juggle. So top of turn six. This is crit mission critical. The reserve squad has like wired up their little detonators. And ready, ready to plunge. It all comes down to who gets to activate first. I reach into the bag. The Brits. All right. Uh-oh. We must deal with these devils that are going to blow the bridge. Nine shots. So fours. Ugh. The lads that are on the bridge, gun them down. The two survivors leg it. Just instantly bridge flee. Bridge secure. Morale broken. <laughs> yeah. I think a bullet has gone through the little plunger box and they're like, 
we're done. This, see, is, see ridiculous. Later, guys. this is ridiculous. We're, we're, we're leaving. A couple of their mates get shot and then they're just out of there. They them. just run. Yeah. So and we finished off the lad, the, the, the reinforcement phony lads in the chateau, didn't we? Oh. Finish them off. The chateau boys. Oh, oh no more. No, the chateau boys. Enjoy your cognac in hell. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, we've got both ends of the bridge secured. Mm -hmm. We've got some lads in position. We've got this AT gun. Our priest and his is, and the nun are safely ensconced in a building. This is not a bad spot. I'm pretty happy. The Tetrarch, Apex Predator. Apex Predator. There's nothing on the map that can damage. <laughs> nothing can <laughs> challenge it. Luckily, we have just managed to bring on some reinforcements. Yeah. An mm -hmm. MG gun has managed to appear, and a mortar has set up in the field ready to start blasting. And your lads are right in where I'd want to be if I was shooting at me as I'm running across and the And then the puma <laughs> appears. Yeah. Uh-oh. The puma is here. The puma. Oh, shit. And <laughs> takes a shot. You could, like, point blank and just blast. Just... Just do it. Boy. Yeah. So, four. Come on. Come on, baby. Ones. Six. Oh, no, my poor Tetrarch. It's been immobilized. We'll take that. Part of the vehicle's tracks have been blown apart. Immobilized. Instantly, again. it's useless. You're now. lucky it didn't explode in one <laughs> shot, yeah, I'll be like honest. The Puma American. has a heavy tank, anti tank gun, and it was shooting a light tank in the side. Yep. Like, it was it's like a, a miracle, miracle you didn't explode. Yeah. Maybe we blow the bridge and stay on this side. <laughs> <laughs> what, with the evil wizard? <laughs> we'll take our charges with the wizard. <laughs> Turn Zeban. Okay, this is a pretty pretty tight turn. This mm -hmm. could be deciding a lot of things. German reinforcements are arriving in force with more on the way. British troops have barely got on top of the bridge. They're not really in defensive positions yet. Who knows what Otto von Druck is up to? Oh. The thing is, if we don't shoot with Piet Pete now, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's definitely. I uh, guess we shoot with Pete. This is their last, last go. We'll pee at the Puma in the side. Oh, it's a shame you don't have your Piat painted because the Piat is just the silliest gun in uh, World War II. Good gun, man. It's a spring-loaded grenade launcher. Like it doesn't have a like a charge to throw oh. it out. You, the, to crank it was apparently like to reset it was a real pain in the ass. It was like oh. you know the way the crossbow. Like a crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Piat Pete. I, I, I think uh, I think he was one of my favourite units in the in the game actually because. There's only two lads. It's like two, two lads two easy boys. to get wiped out, and they just have a, a pea shooter that might be able to knock out a puma. Let's just see what happens. It's a two. Oh, boy. But he missed this turn, unfortunately. Oh. I was worried. Tetrarch hit you, a glancing blow, shook the crew up a bit. Ooh, yeah, um, they begin getting a little bit twitchy inside. Yeah. They're like, that, that, didn't, that didn't go through anything. <laughs> okay. And then I think we I decided to move one of my squads into this building over here just to mm. hold it, because I thought, if we're going to get flanked, this is a pretty solid piece of cover. That's a commanding position. Anyone yeah. more, uh, advancing up the road has now got a full squad bearing down on them. Yeah, untouched cover. squad. Mm. Yeah, real, yeah. real tough. And then I started to move the SES up the river, but your machine gun was just the gunning the lads down. The enfilading fire. Yeah. So mm. threes to hit. Fives yeah. and up. Come on. Uh, two. Ooh. Damn. Two of the best. Not replacing those anytime soon. Just started cutting into those commandos. I was terrified of them. They're scary lads if they can and get into range. Yeah. Yeah, so it was just trying to pump as many rounds into that squad. We have to take these guys out. Yeah. It's really, really important. Tough they boys. Dangerous. And while all of this is going on, Von Drack is beginning to levitate in the tower. <laughs> <laughs> Unholy magics are flying around as he continues to chant for Draken Rubies. So. At this point, you can complete the ritual, or you keep going to make it get bigger. Bigger, man! <laughs> bigger! I did have my lads on that side of the bridge now who took some nice shots at, at Drac. Shoot him up in his stupid tower. Pew pew! Okay, now he is a veteran, so you'll need fives to wound him. Okay. No! Oh. No wounds! Nothing, nothing was going to stop this. Nothing hit at that all. That whole volley couldn't land a single hit on him. Ridiculous. Was real it's like he was protected by some kind of magical force field. Ooh, it was destiny. Like <laughs> now, the last of my reinforcements are here. Mm -hmm. A half track full of lads. Mm -hmm. With an AT gun on it. It's got well. an AT gun on top. Before, I've been on the back foot massively, but suddenly, with the assistance of that, Plus the support of the Kettenkrad, which is pulling a little secret behind it. <laughs> the Kettenkrad. 
I don't know why, but this is one of my favorite German transports. Oh, me too. Oh, the little... Why does this exist? What's he got? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. So this little Kettenrad is pulling a, um, a Goliath oh, tracked mine. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you've seen those before. They're like a little remote control car yeah. with a bomb on it. <laughs> They're the best. <laughs> what are you going to do with it? Oh, God, I'd hate it if something accidentally blew up oh, around no. here. All right. Fine. I feel I feel great about this right now. We're kind of slowly moving up. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about what's left in uh, left in the cover over here. It's not really going to do anything. We've got the commandos in a great spot. Well, they're a crack team of veterans, all armed with MP44s. They're like your crack. They're like your SAS lads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are going to come up, and they are going to get this job done. All we need now is this bridge to explode. <laughs> So turn eight was a big turn, but... Yeah, the, the, the Germans are in a position to just full assault you now. A half-track stuffed with lads mm. who could blow up the bridge. Mm -hmm. This bloody motorcycle carrying a Goliath remote control bomb blowing up the bridge. Mm -hmm. I started the turn, I think, with the pack mm -hmm. firing a shot, trying to take out the either the Puma or the half-track. I can't remember. Just yeah. shoot. Yeah, Hank. Hank. Hank is going for it. And... Oh! That's a miss. Thank you, idiot. But we missed. But it so misses. You, you need to jump on that because my mortar was beginning to zero in on you. Yeah. And mortar time's coming. Oh, God. Mm. On a five. Uh, five o'clock. Oh! It hits. Oh! Goodbye, Hank. He's super dead. That felt like the most important thing to do. And, uh, yeah, lands it, lands it on you. And yeah. Kills the remaining crew of it. We've dealt with that and that's something we don't have to worry about yeah the brits all right all right pia pete <laughs> pia pete Has now is your end? time <laughs> half track in the side <laughs> well a pia pete finally getting his eye and recocks the piat let's go baby it's what? a four it's a, hit. it's a hit that's massive damage oh no i was not expecting so we just blew the engine up and all the lads piled out the back you forgot about Piat Pete. Piat Pete. Pete. Mm. It's a great that, shot from that Piat Pete. Almost makes him man of the match there and then. For oh, knocking yeah. out the half track with its gun and pinning down all the troops who come out of yeah, it. Yeah, it was huge. Fucking killer shot. But then we uh, we had our lads in the building finish off the, the Germans that had spilled out of the damaged half track. Yeah, that's them. That's them wow, again. they just. So the pier blows up the up the half track, and then as the guys are crawling out of the oh, flaming on wreckage, fire! Those guys are like, light them up, boys! <laughs> Jeez, I can actually feel bad for that squad. Yeah, <laughs> more Brits have right. really just jumped you. Jeez, this turn. they have the counter attack. All right, chaps. Mm. I think our tech track took another shot at the Puma, another near miss or glancing blow, which actually means it goes down. Oh God! I can't act this turn. Oh God. These lads are seriously pinned. You're ringing that car like a ringing bell. Ringing that bell, baby. Ringing yeah. it. German assault has been stalled. Puma's stunned out. The half track's on fire. The guys are burning. The Kettenkrad, yeah. realizing, it looks like we're going to have to get this job done ourselves, mate. <laughs> um, they just tear off into the woods. <laughs> so now I have my remote control bomb. Hope they got a long enough wire. Oh yeah, they, oh, they got plenty of spools for days, man. <laughs> spools for days. Don't even worry about it. It's it's got like a cable. It doesn't even got like radio control. Yeah. It's like cable control. So there's a guy sat there with a Xbox controller driving this. It thing. was yes, it was Xbox. <laughs> yeah, Xbox. Xbox yeah. One. You need control, the twin yeah. sticks for the two sets of tracks. But then uh, yeah, it was like now we've got another timer on, and of course the ritual continues. I am going to maybe edge it and hope that I get the start of next turn and do one last empowering spell. Okay, go on then. Let's see I what want you to get. Try and superpower it. <laughs> there was no way I was ever not gonna put. For the no doubt. <laughs> five. 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 Oh dear. Okay, Double that's trouble. Two more cubes. He's on six cubes. The okay, cubes of has... power have been summoned. <laughs> All six of the Draken Rubies. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Next turn, I can begin. Mm. If I can win the draw, mm -hmm. then he does the big spell. I've, I've, I've got a lot of things that need to go first but he can't survive another volley of shooting. It is... Nine! The Germans! Ooh, very good. I managed to win the draw mm -hmm. from the bag, and there's a lot of... I've got a lot of problems on the battlefield. <laughs> yeah, where do you start? I am so worried that you are just going to kill my wizard. 
He's got enough power to do the big ritual. Okay. He's unleashing all of his charged power. I, I don't know, I have no idea what this means, but I'm hoping it's better. It's like two Pete Pete's. A Pete Pete <laughs> combined with Hans the Pack Gunner. All right, what does he get, Ben? If you went big and you've summoned an ancient Cthulhu <laughs> oh monster <laughs> as it rises up from the deep oh of the my river. God. <laughs> okay. Oh, Shogaloth Monoloth is here! Wow. <laughs> the ancient ones have risen. I'm so glad. <laughs> I wish uh, we brought more tetrarchs. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I've now got a giant squid monster. Uh, floating around in the battlefield. And I'm hoping this now pulls a bit of attention away from all of my dying <laughs> troops and just the <laughs> sadness that is going on. Well, yeah, if you ever wanted to distract someone, I think this is the way to do it. It, yeah. it draws the attention. It does. <laughs> so we started to put some shots into it. There's nothing else for it, Pike. We'll have to man the gun ourselves. Yeah, they're going to reman this. So just <sighs> imagine it's those lads. Back on the gun, baby. By Joe Pike, pointed at the giant squid. <laughs> right. We'll shoot that. A four! It's a hit! Okay. Slammo! Ah, oh, so one of its giant fleshy tentacles is ripped off by a high explosive round. <laughs> okay. This is very historically accurate as well. Yeah, this is how it went down. This is just how it uh, went down. No. You don't hear about this. Mm. Uh, I think the SAS took another limb off. Yeah. And then our other squad of lads took another limb off. Yeah, so you just shoot half your army out of it. And Everything we can. Rip three of its tentacles off in, in yeah. one turn. But... Piet Pete over here is worried about this mortar. So he drops a Piet round on the mortar team and messes them up a bit. I'm thinking mm. we need to keep this area firing at this squid. Yes, but Piet Pete, as he's distracted. Is so... he within 12? Because I could assault him. Uh, Stab him up. We will get a shot of you on the way in, though. That's true. With the Piet. Uh, <laughs> They're like charging. <laughs> it's like trying to load the Piet. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. Let's try, the, let's try and assault him. Why not? Do it. This is going to be unpleasant. We're, we're going to Piet shot at them on the way in. Yeah. Uh, two of them. Get Pieted. Get Pieted. That's a four and a three. Two guys blown to bits. Jeez. Get Pieted. So it's seven against two. So five to kill. Okay. Come on. Come I'm on, baby. I'm actually worried. Come on, baby. Not just... Because no, Piet Pete. Pete is, of a legend. is ledge. Yeah. That's going to wrap. Come on. Uh, no kills. One, two. two. Oh, <laughs> Pete. Yeah. GG. Pete dead. Yeah, game over. Let's just call it that. Cool. Yes, you know. Pete's dead, mate. How That's... can you... Oh, a legend has died. Poor Pete. Oh, he burned brightly. He oh. Did. But God. burned briefly. I was, I, I honestly, Ben, I, I didn't, I, I, I knew what the, the, the squid was a problem. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I thought this yeah, is an issue. Like... <laughs> we must have some kind of counter to this. What can the priests do, Ben? Okay, well, the priest, this is why he was attached to this mission. I was hoping oh, there was a reason. Fear. He can um, pray for something to come and combat it. I'm going to do whatever it is that he's doing. We're praying. Okay, so we're he, praying. He's channeling some channeling. kind of. Ancient force. Okay. Ooh. We'll go on one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're not gonna. A lucky cat arrives. <laughs> Keep channeling and carry on. Uh, so the the army is in tatters. The Puma is trying to do anything, but the crew are so shaken up. Poor Puma. He's so just had the up. worst day. Right. I think they'd actually just run out. <laughs> <laughs> they had left. No one had noticed they'd um, ejected. And so when all of that is going terribly wrong. Suddenly, the Goliath crew are like, We got this. All ahead full. We got this. All ahead full. And just start beelining towards the bridge. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Hail Mary pass. Of like, yeah. But I just need to get onto that bridge, driving through all of your army. <laughs> yeah. Might work. Might work. The Germans. The Germans. I don't think it's even the Germans who are <laughs> doing this battle anymore. Squid or soul? Oh no. Boom. <laughs> okay, so he gets two attacks plus one for every tentacle he's got left. Okay, so and, seven um, attacks. What do I kill on? Two. Ooh, he's not terrible. <laughs> I reckon we're dead. <laughs> I reckon we've had it. Uh, 
Oh, that's a lot of ones. Oh, Ooh, that is a lot of ones. I got four, though. Oh, but damn. a lot of ones. I mean, there's more tentacles than men at this point. That's, that's true. true. Well, tentacles to spare. <laughs> that would be terrifying, watching men getting lifted up and ripped in half and pecked and swallowed oh, whole. Oh, God. God. And as this thing Grizzly. is screaming and psychic <laughs> emanations are going out. Awful business. And so it speed bumps over them and then begins tearing towards the rest of your army. Oh, no. Yeah, I think. <laughs> Hoping that it can intercept your priest before he can do anything. Absolutely. Because I've got no idea what you can do. Well, so that does give us a point blank shot with the pack gun. Blast another tentacle off the squid. Wow, well, we've halved the number of limbs. That I, can, I think that's pretty good. Anyone want some calamari? <laughs> <laughs> so you took advantage of this super distraction. So while this big distraction is going on, uh, the Goliath just decides just to <laughs> just underneath. The wire's gone taut. Oh yeah, the wire's taut. <laughs> I guess we uh, guess gotta blow it now. That's the best time that we can get to make our way onto the bridge and hope for the best. And your lads in the forest that had killed Piet Pete charged and finished off my Tetra. So you're gonna need a five. A five. Come on, Terry Tetra. This is the guy. He's, this is the guy. He's wearing Piat Pete's head on his helmet <laughs> as a, a war trophy. Uh, it's oh, a five. Oh, oh. <laughs> that hole. The <laughs> they put it inside that. <laughs> All right, since the priest is in emin imminent danger from this thing... Do you want to cash it in? That's we've got no other choice. I'm cashing it in. What have we got, Ben? You've called on the power of ancient British myth. Oh, come on. King you... Arthur, let's go! You've been sent a Pegasus oh, Knight! Oh, <laughs> let's <laughs> dance! Pegasus oh, he swoops in from the sky to deliver you from evil. The clouds part, a beam of godly sunlight comes down and out comes an Arthurian legend riding a Pegasus. It's perfect, isn't it? You're the paratroopers, born of the sky. Nice. Or the exactly bridge that. defenders are of the river. Yeah. So oh, that's why He's they named wonky. this the Battle of Pegasus, Pegasus Bridge. Yeah, exactly. There was a Pegasus and there was a bridge. <laughs> that's where the real name comes from. Yeah. But he just went straight for Squiddy McSquid. Beelined in, saving your captain and yeah. intercepting the squid before it went on its rampage. What else is he going to do? Oh, no. Oh, oh. straight in there with the Pegasus. Let's dance. With baby. the Holy Lance. Yeah, the Holy Lance. Not the Holy Lance. Come on. <laughs> and he's going to get six dice. Okay. Oh, jeez. It's quite the fight. Six dice. So he's going to need fours. Uh, so that is four hits. Oh my god. Ooh. This could be all his limbs. Okay, so four do I need hits. to do... You yeah. have to do them one at a time. One at a time. Yeah, the first one, I need to roll a four or under. Yeah. I do. So okay. that's minus one limb. Then a three or under. It's oh, not. oh! That's a wound. Oh, wound. That's a core wound. Okay, how many wounds does he have? Three. Uh, then the next one... Is another, oh, another core oh, wound! He's got one core wound left! I need to roll a one, two, or a three. Oh, oh he's in one more he's alive. So he's lost six tentacles and two of his like parts have stopped beating. Yeah. Wow. There's not much left of this guy. You've mauled him pretty bad. Woo. He rips off another tentacle, he impales it in one of its hearts, but it's not quite enough. Yeah. And we're forced to do another round another of Another round. Yeah. He's an Arthurian knight of legend. Ooh. So you only fives to hurt Fives. That's two wounds. Oh, we're dead. You have, you've been tentacled. We've been killed. Oh but my god, I, but, but you simultaneous were... But simultaneous combat. Yeah. We're both plowing into each other. Oh so Lance yeah. enters okay. the heart of the beast. That's a six and a five. That's I do two. have three, uh, two tentacles, two tentacles left. left. Two so, tentacles. A one or a two? Oh, oh, he stops one of the attacks! I've got one tentacle one. left. <laughs> God, I've rolled so many ones this game. <laughs> you have to roll a one or it's dead. Come on! Oh! oh. oh. So it's a double KO. Wow. She plunges his sword into the heart of the beast and they join each other in death. They crash into the river together, killing each other in a KO. But I'd like to think the Pegasus gives a, a T2-style thumbs up. 
<laughs> <laughs> the lad as it disappears into the river. But a, like and a hoof. Up. <laughs> just it's going to be really hoof. hard to read. <laughs> just a hoof. Was it thrashing around? Someone's like, no, I'm pretty sure that was a thumbs up. <laughs> that was like a thumbs up. That's, That's how I interpreted it. That's how I interpreted it. I mean, can we, we can shoot the Goliath, I guess. We can try, yeah. We'll give it a go. Bring it all. It's a metal box. <laughs> So <laughs> you need a six to um a six. <laughs> a six. Oh. oh a single hit pings off of it. Which is the end of the turn. If Tom gets to go first. I will blow up the bomb. I will that is what I want. Because if I can't have this bridge. No one And can. if my squid is dead, <laughs> like blowing up the bridge. What's the fucking point? So at this point I'm thinking. There's two major targets here. Mm. The Goliath on the bridge. Mission critical. Mission critical. Mm. The bridge that you need to ensure the D-Day landings are a success. Yes, or... We're shooting the wizard. We're, I don't care about this bridge anymore. This wizard, <laughs> <laughs> this wizard's going down. <laughs> so we shot the wizard. Fall off the balcony like the emperor. Uh, ah! <laughs> like Saruman. <laughs> Splot. And that meant that you got a chance for the Goliath to do something. But we got lucky and drew another British Which, dice. You took a real gamble on I that one. I did gamble. So can we just charge it? I, yeah, I literally think you cannot hit it with the AT right, gun at this point. Charge it then. <laughs> <laughs> David, it, it, Dave Davison. Versus. Versus remote versus controlled Goliath. Oh metal God. box. <laughs> <laughs> Who will win? So <laughs> we have a Titanic David versus Goliath struggle. Goliath's quite a lot smaller than David in this refight. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. How do I okay. melee a box? Well, he's got two. He's got two attacks because okay. he's got a pistol and a wow. foot. Okay. <laughs> and um, he needs sixes to kill it. A five and a oh, one. You, oh, unfortunately, it, you are not allowed to add them together. It yeah. adds up to six. <laughs> I want to fight back. No, you're not. I will, I'm going to fight back. You're a bomb. I'm a. I'm fighting back. I roll a five. I think I. You you run over his foot and he's oh, like, oh, that's darn smart. It. Even though you said it didn't count, it definitely attacked back okay. and I landed my hit. You did. And I, oh, I gave you a good oh, bruise on the shin. <laughs> he broke his toes as he drove yeah. over them. And uh, then your then, turn. Then uh, we had another draw. It's Tom's go. Oh, no, it's not even that. Beep! <laughs> Blammo! Bye-bye, Bridgie. Where once there was a bridge, just craters remain. The Allied advance in ruins. Pegasus bridge. bridge is destroyed. Down. Yeah. So yeah. They didn't call it Squid Bridge. Well, it's because everyone remembers the Pegasus. Yeah, yeah. I think he so. He killed the squid. That's true. And remember, he gave a thumbs up. <laughs> he did give the thumbs up. Remember the bridge. Yeah, whereas the squid with its remaining tentacle definitely flipped the bird. Oh, yeah. So they're like, we can't do it for PR, PR yeah, reasons. We like, can't go the squid, squid actually right. quite offensive. But mm. a Pyrrhic know. victory for the Germans, but uh, yeah. we were defeated. The British army was defeated. We lost the bridge. Who knows what the ramifications of that would be? The Britain, British also, although they control the field, they failed their objective to capture the bridge. Yep. Yep. Uh, the D-Day landings will have to hopefully another parachuting team on another bridge managed to succeed. Oh, yeah. Just down the road where there's Minotaur Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, you should have seen that battle. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. It was great. It was really good. Ben, thank, thank you, you very much oh. for putting this together for us. Thank Tom, you thank you for, for stepping in. It was great playing with you. It really you was. Are so welcome. It was lovely to play with you. You're always Oh, I'm always the best. Thank you. And thank you for everyone who has become a member of the Game Tonight channel. We couldn't put so much time and effort into these things without your support. True. If you're not already a member, please consider supporting us now and clicking the link below. And if you are a member, check out the extended cut with all the extra stuff that wasn't quite good enough for the main video. <laughs> Behind the scenes, God, be yours. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye.